Hi everyone, it's day 8 of my 100 day challenge. As you can see probably on the reflection of my glasses, it's a bright sunny day after the blizzard that we had yesterday. Uh, 60 kilometer winds and a little snow so it was uh, pretty ugly. We didn't have to go anywhere so that was a, a great thing. I'm feeling great. 15 minutes on the treadmill at 2 miles an hour every day. Cleaned out a lot of the bad foods in the house. I'm down one pound. I've been sleeping really great and uh, getting a lot of projects ticked off my list. I had a little sidetrack, as I said I think on the other video, with the guild the quilt guild meeting that I had Thursday night. And now I'm on the <laughs> quilt show committee and so I had to quickly do up an ad for a paper that goes across the province about the time that we need to promote the show so that I spent time on the computer. I did a Photoshop layering project. I've been putting it off for months learning how to take two photos and layer them into one on Photoshop. And my daughter had shown me last year when she was here and then left notes and I think I tried it a couple times and it didn't work. So I did it. And so I changed the photos on the front page of my website. That was pretty exciting. That's big tick on that on my to-do list. Today I wanted to talk to about gratitude and for those of you on Facebook and have me as a friend I've been posting a photo every day since I started in my gratitude photo album. I don't um, tell Facebook to publish it but they're in the album. Some of you have noticed and gone and looked and there's a lot of things that I'm grateful for. Yesterday I was very grateful for my fingerless gloves that I purchased for myself. My husband thinks they're pretty funny. I need to have my hands warm and in order to do the hand work that I want to do my fingers need to be loose so but they also needed to be covered a certain amount, so they're really great. I love them. I'm very grateful that we have the house that we do, roof over our heads, with no mortgage worries. We have food on the table. We're not wanting for anything. I'm grateful for the family that I have, my immediate family, my husband, Brian, and the two kids, Carrie and Michael. We're a pretty close-knit family. We don't talk every day, but we have finally gotten into Skyping, usually on weekends, whenever when the son and daughter are off work. We have a lot of fun times. Um, laughing about some of the memories and if it's during hockey games you know we have to we're into hockey our family so we talk a lot of hockey and and stuff like that because that's the way we are and Megan has been really great about watching some of my videos Megan is who got me onto this 100 day challenge and she has been great about posting comments and one of the comments that she said is I should smile more in my videos so Megan I'm smiling and I do feel happier already and it's only been a week so that's totally amazing I am thinking positive thoughts I envision a brand new self-cleaning oven four inches lower so that 
I can open the door and put something in without a problem. But there is room. I measured everything. When I think of that in my head, and at night before I go to sleep, I smell a sticky chicken recipe that we make. Roasting chickens, and we put all these spices on the outside. Oh. By about the second hour of roasting, your mouth is salivating. It is so good. Even my sister will account for that. They do it regularly, and oh, it is to die for. All you have to do is look on the internet for um, a sticky chicken recipe, and it's there. Oh, So that's what we use on our homemade pizza recipes is that leftover chicken. Oh, once, once you have it, you can't eat rotisserie chicken. Rotisserie chicken hasn't got the taste. I wanted to talk about, um, Megan also suggested a book. Ask, and it is given by Jerry and Esther Hicks. My sister had talked about it. I think it's where the magic creation box um, was in. Anyway, last night I ordered Law of Attraction and the book called Ask and It Is Given. There's an online bookstore that has... Uh, really good prices. They have used and new. Powell Books. Just look for Powell Books. Great prices. And they ship to Canada and take PayPal. I'm anxious to start reading those because I've started rereading The Secret. I wanted to leave with a quote. And next video I'll talk about five things about me. I'm not sure if you know, but I would like you to know. I'll read from the secret, and I have to take my glasses off, sorry. Nothing can come into your experience unless you summon it through persistent thoughts. So, I see a self-cleaning new oven in my thoughts and in my house. Have a sunshiny day. Bye, everybody. See you in a couple days.